In this shorty, we're visiting Dos Palmas, and this is a good one day trip. You could visit all these sites easily in one day. So let's say you're gonna camp out on Pole Line Road, so you could go visit Slojamistan, which is 1.2 miles from Pole Line Road, OHV camping area. From there, you could head over to the Sunny Bono Salton Sea Wildlife Refuge and check that out, which is pretty cool. And from there, you could go just outside of Nyland, California and visit Slab City, where you can see Salvation Mountain, visit East Jesus, and check out the slabs. From there, you can go to Bombay Beach, and that's a good place to have lunch at the Ski Inn. Really good food there, actually. Not hard to find. And you can visit all the art installations throughout Bombay Beach. And if you have an electric car, they have a free Tesla charging station on the beach. <laughs> all of these attractions, we'll call them, are located surrounding the wonderful Salton Sea in Imperial County, California. About 15 miles north of Bombay Beach is Parkside Drive. You'll hang a right. And the last three or so miles is a dirt road, but it's very flat and maintained along the power lines. Sorry for all the details on the maps, but I've been trying to find this place for a minute. Maybe it's because I was calling it Dulce Palmas, but all the information and references online call it Preserve. So let me fix the sign there. As you're getting close on the dirt road, you can't help but notice and see it sitting out there. Just a ton of palm trees in the middle of nowhere. Once you arrive, just park in the small parking lot and you take the rock-bordered San Andreas Trail, named for, but not spelled like, the famous fault line. It's about three-tenths of a mile, easy flat walk straight into the shaded grove. This desert oasis with its hundreds of swaying fan palms offers sanctuary in the dry desert. I was very excited to go inside and see the trails and to see what matches the pictures that I had seen online. This is what I was expecting to see. Now I'm here in mid-April of 24, and what I saw didn't quite match. <laughs> I'm not sure why, other than I know two weeks prior to my arrival, they had a controlled burn to restore the habitat for the endangered pupfish and endangered Yuma Ridgeway Rail. The burn area was on the far south side of where I'm at now. The pools, or the lack thereof at this time, are fed by artesian springs and seepage from the nearby Coachella Valley Canal. The exceptional habitat shelters a variety of both threatened and, and or endangered and more common animal species. So here's a bit of history. About 400 years ago when the Spanish explorers were first discovering a vast inland sea called Lake Cohia, which included the Dos Palmas Basin. So this explains a lot. I love traveling and learning. Okay, from Slow Jamas 10 to the Palm Springs area, if you look close on the ground, you'll see broken shells and fish bones. But the Salton Sea was never that big, so this is where it came from. According to this map, the ancient Lake Cohia could easily handle three Salton Seas inside of it and it extended to the south way into Mexico. According to this map, Calexico, El Centro, Brawley, even all the way to Indio was covered by this lake. As Lake Huia began to evaporate, the Native Americans followed its shrinking shoreline until it finally disappeared. They dispersed to surrounding springs and oases. This area is reminisced from the internet photo where the pond once was. Around the mid 1800s, settlers from the Los Angeles sought a way to cross the hottest and driest of North American deserts to reach the gold fields of Arizona by using a series of springs that would allow travel between the Pacific Ocean and the Colorado River. At the midpoint along this route was the most luxuriant of all the springs, a pool of water framed by two large palm trees, so the name Dos Palmas was born. 
now that I know how simple it is to get there, I'm going to be returning quite often to see if the pawns ever return. Thanks for watching. Love you, Mom. <laughs>